great um welcome everyone uh, to this special episode of uh, this web series called seven insurtech um this is a special episode because we are going to talk about something very interesting called you know insurance as a feature uh, a topic which is kind of very close to the heart both for uh, me and my co-host rahul mathur um rahul has also written a blog recently that he'll talk about on, on the same topic um today we are joined by some special guests from uh, this fantastic insurtech company called discovery um uh, we have all the four co-founders from discovery uh, joining us uh, subindu who is the ceo of the company uh, saurabh uh, who is the chief business officer of the company uh, chirant who is the chief strategy officer and vidya who is the chief technology officer all of them are co-founders of the company um so i'm i'm hoping that we'll have a very lively discussion with all these insurtech experts uh, you know joining us now uh, we like to keep it very uh, you know concise and crisp uh, uh, the format is really you know quick questions and uh, you know so i would request everybody to keep the answer short and and to the point um so the reason of doing uh, the series seven insurtech was that we felt that there's a lot of discussion which happens in the fintech space about payments and lending we wanted uh, to give enough love and attention to to insurtech and i found nobody better than rahul to be the co-host for this um so today's uh, episode um is really about uh, you know insurance in a box or insurance as a feature and my first question really is um uh, you know uh, chiran to you that basically the insurance landscape is changing quite a bit right and i think we talk a lot about uh, infrastructure apis in the payment space this seems to me like there's a there's a lot of work happening on the insurance infrastructure apis and digital distribution can actually help anyone uh, who has a customer base and is willing to or wanting to sell insurance and i also feel that right now after lending there's a whole new promise of monetization from insurance uh, which is coming up right so i want to know your views given that you are building a company at the center of this trend uh, what what would you say sure sure thanks thanks amit uh, first off uh, appreciate uh, getting us on uh, on a insurtech focused uh, um, you know a live video series it's a first for us so uh, so thank you very much thank you amit thank you thank you rahul um, great question to kind of start off with uh, maybe we can start you know we can color this with a with a sort of our view here but take a step back in terms of uh, you know what is leading to this right so uh, amit as you mentioned sort of the industry's value chain is getting uh, leaner uh, right uh, across multiple financial services uh, like product uh, on on like you know payment side lending side as you mentioned we're already seeing this thing where um you know to your point some of these financial services are are features not products per se right so you don't have to go and build all of this yourself if you want to, if you have a large consumer base and you want to add these financial layers uh, whether on payment side to accept digital payments credit side to offer you know say micro credit if you will uh, you don't have to necessarily go and build everything from scratch there are a sort of one stop shop platforms who can potentially bring that in a, in a manner that is uh that helps you sort of not only launch the some of these products very quickly but also scale as your needs change right so that is the fundamental sort of you know our thesis of what constitutes financial infra providers that one stop shop sort of you know financial services that stack offered as a service for anybody to to do what they want to as part of that particular financial services or product right so in our space we are doing that on the insurance side um so you know anecdotally speaking though uh, let's kind of like rewind right and and sort of kind of juxtapose insurance with say uh, say payments or credit as far as a financial service is concerned um and try and sort of you know drive towards why this is happening now and why this is relevant now right so um so you know if you look at sort of our own history of as a startup over the last few uh, you know i think a little over a couple of years now uh you know the and and hindsight everything is 2020 but we were asking very fundamental first principles questions of insurance right so um and but you know when you feel the layers uh, then you understand that you are asking a very fundamental question which back in the day came up in different avatars uh the question that we are asking is uh, look if there is risk with any commercial transaction right um and 
payments comes from a perspective of you know what you know you know whom who how much you know what instrument you want to use to pay whom uh, via what kind of a service etc cetera, etc cetera, right so um and it is payments is fairly omnipresent relatively uh, democratized uh, you know um, digital payments is is a norm now right uh, then and if you think about it insurance is di diametrically the opposite side of payments right you don't know what you don't know right uh, it's a hedged pool risk instrument uh, to cover for risks that may in the future um so uh, if you then it comes to the question of why isn't insurance if there is risk fundamentally with any transaction then insurance also should be just as ubiquitous or omnipresent or democratized as payments but it is isn't why that is one question number 1 right question number 2 is that there has been an um, age old kind of a view that insurance is always sold not bought right uh, but why we are in 21st century we all know that we can't kind of predict the future there are risks that are not uh, homogenous uh, everyone's risks are different uh, everyone's appetite to cover that risk is different and everybody's trust interface of whom you want to buy that risk product uh, like insurance changes right uh, i may be comfortable sort of you know buying uh, say health insurance more say at where i you know co invest that time with others right for instance in a gym or a cycling class or a yoga class why can't we all buy insurance health insurance together uh, why should it be only sold via a diy kind of a platform like say a policy bazaar why it should be or an agent or or a bank or whatever it is can we bring insurance to the point of trust right uh, where people uh, by way of engaging with that trust interface doing something else already to gain that trust can we introduce these these micro easily um, kind of understood awareness is there with that trust platform already already trust is there so to speak with that trust platform now you combine the two and then sort of there is scale on one side and then there is uh, there is uh, say uh, you know uh, uh, trust on the other end to bring that together at the point of that trust canvas uh, that is what we are trying to solve right uh, to uh, and that and the way we think about that is you know it is basically an api infrastructure play so our solution is really uh, you know insurance in a box right uh, insurance in a box is a three sided platform uh, where anybody who who has large distribution scale um, like say a bank an nbfc a fintech uh, any of any any health tech regu, you know uh, supply chain tech uh, regardless of whatever uh, end uh, user risks that you want to cover um, and uh, you know the, the, if you want to add insurance as a financial services layer on top of your existing business stack and uh, tech stack then we are your one stop shop right so that fundamentally requires three things for anybody to mobilize insurance as a service to their existing base one is you need the insurance product itself from our perspective uh, the product is nothing but a set of api keys whether it is apis that goes directly from the supply side or or we or apis that where we have understood the underlying insurance product Uh, and you know underwriting logic uh, it's uh, sort of you know real time certificate of insurance logic all the business rules and processes around it coded that as part of our own database and exposed that to apis for us it doesn't matter right everything is an api and whether you want to use that with an assisted channel whether you want to do it as a diy channel whether you want to do it with a bundle channel insurance is an amazing sort of a, a, a affinity play where insurance happens on the back of some other purchase right a device insurance happening on the back of a device purchase a home loan happening on the a home insurance happening on the back of a home loan right those kind of sort of you know bundled or attached uh, use cases um, we can sort of power all of that by apis so that is one part of the sort of the solution the second part of the solution is the uh, the, the management module now once you start uh, enabling insurance for your existing customers or users or sort of you know employees whatever be you um, you need to manage all of this in the back end right uh, there is uh, you know policy reconciliation claims management uh, you know sales hierarchies that you need to add you know advanced mises etc all that happens via a saas product right which is the second component of a three sided platform the third is the compliance license itself and uh, my colleagues here suvendu and saurabh will be able to explain that much better uh, i do not have much uh, insurance uh, operational experience um, per se so vidya and i come from an outside in perspective so uh, but you know if we, if i were to think about the second the third side the compliance license side it's the ability our ability to service any kind of an insurance product for any uh, distribution partner 
some distribution partners may want to do only retail products and not group products in which case they need by an iida perspective they need to be licensed right so they can leverage our license so the third part of the value proposition becomes license as a service right to use my own sort of outside in views uh, it will be qualified better with suvendu and sora so that is the three right. platform right together when you bring all of this completely modularized completely personalized uh, you know uh, you can offer any insurance on any digital uh, canvas across any channel whether it's assisted diy or uh, you know bundled uh, seamlessly right. using discovery apis and technology right Thanks, Chiran. Very interesting. Let me take this to Rahul, my co-host. And Rahul, as an industry observer and somebody who has been tracking insurtech, uh, and somebody who has been writing about insurance as a feature, what do you think about the opportunity in this space? It's a good, good question, right? And I think Chiran has given us good perspective on what insurance as a box is about, right? So it's the product management and regulatory side, and they're kind of bringing everything in. I mean, when I kind of look at the digital affinity channels which chiran mentioned so it's is the guys at e-commerce so flipkart partnered with agon you see in amazon coming out with amazon pay echo there's like a whole list of payments apps as well whether it's your bharat pay your phone pay launch that travel insurance product right but what i i guess one of the reasons why you and i amit are fascinated by discovery is some of the more novel plays is kind of come out with I think maybe this is a nice opportunity to hear from the team at Discovery, and for audience contacts, they came out with two, I guess, very interesting offerings. The first one was with National Payment Corporation of India backed uh, Rupee Credit Card, uh, sorry, the Rupee Debit Card, where they've launched their uh, sort of bundled up their insurance product. And the other one is on Inmobi's Glance uh, Screen Locker platform, where they've actually built like an end-to-end coat bind and. policy issuance so it'll be nice to hear from them as to how these partnerships kind of materialize what it entails because my my gut feeling is just like many people in 2015 were thinking about you know people under my customers trust me that layer of trust that chirant was saying can i also sell them insurance is probably the question that's playing on their mind right now so i think i'll i'll leave it to team discovery to answer this and give us a bit more context on those two products So let me let me just add one more thing, and probably this is a question for Sora, as I understand, as a chief business officer. That uh, essentially what Rahul said, and if you can also elaborate, what are the, what are the various types of enterprise customers which are there? I understand brokerage firms, retailers, platforms. So you know, two of them, uh, Rahul talked about. So now. Hey, thanks for the yeah. question, Rahul, uh, and thanks, Samit, for for the opportunity. Um, great question, and I would take a couple of I would I would have said minutes, but seconds here uh, to uh, you know uh, just come back set a context uh, inside out, guys. For us, by, by myself, you know, spent almost a decade and a half in the industry, fairly dinosauric from the current times point of view, uh, but. Uh, uh if you see what's going on on the distribution side is an extension of what really transpired and built out on the affinity side in the last decade and a half and it's nothing but what is going to transpire in the next half decade as we go through the digi- digital catalyst so technology is going to be a catalyst in being able to do contextual distribution of sachet insurances and that's where we are going to be playing a massive role As as an enterprise, on on the right hand side of the opportunity, which is where we see a lot of uh, alternate distribution sh- shaping up, and that's where we see serving up a lot of industries, startups in the fintech world, uh, where you know it, it's highly proliferated as you see, um, a lot of uh, uh, significant spicy solutions that might come up. And when I say spicy solutions, uh, one of the biggest pet peeves that I have. uh being an insider uh and i can say this you know in this forum because uh, only two out of the rest are insiders here uh so uh the pet peeve that i have is that we've not been able to come up with a solution in this industry which is what we believe to be you know a pure play uh, ch- uh, a solution of choice 
and the problem that we are really we have not been able to solve for the end consumer is that we have not been able to solve for the inconvenience in choice so both these things put together is something that we need to solve for on the right hand side of the uh, uh, you know insurance solution that we bring to market and that's what happened uh, as a case in point where we are talking about inmobi and npcr so just to come back to the point of inmobi and pci uh we are going through some very very um, you know unprecedented times as far as uh, covid is concerned health insurance is topical on everybody's minds and and uh, coming back to the factor on trust right so um, it's a deeper topic um, uh, and you know building trust uh, by what we are doing on helping consumers having a good experience by why technology is one side of it to be able to solve for by providing the right product is the other side of it which is where we don't sit very very strongly because we we leverage of the insurance partners here and in doing so you need to have the right solution that needs to be powered through efficiently as a user experience for these end consumers who who are the end consumers of npci and in mobi to make it more contextual for them to be able to purchase it very seamlessly and that's what we ended up doing here uh, the idea was to be able to kind of take time to market so how quickly can you plug this up and take it out to market um and it, and when we say this uh, in in the world world times would have been uh, we're talking about a month months of integration to be able to go live but here we were talking about end to end of 6 days uh, when we went live with npci is across their rupee card base so uh, a, a tall order you know uh, uh, from from what an integration standpoint from an insurance company integrations was be the uh, end to end uh, going to the consumers and uh, similarly for uh, for uh, in movie glance feature where we did the first product live on on covid side both these products that the, f- the first set of products that we went live was the covid insurance and obviously this was very contextual uh, what we call as a get built uh, nurture approach in insurance right when you are getting a new customer to engage with your with yourself on an insurance product you need to be going with a very low hanging fruit which is a hook solution and the current context the lowest hanging fruit was covid insurance as far as these brands were concerned and it doesn't really matter when when you have a larger brand playing the product out on the front end like npci or an inbobi uh, the underlying brand which is under uh, underwriting insurance fairly gets diluted there so consumers don't really then dig deep on that so that's the trust factor that they're leveraging off so these are the few things that we need to keep in mind however the true proof of the pudding is in its eating and at the end of the day when the consumers use the insurance products is the validation of the solution that really takes place right and that's that's another piece that we need to kind of work on very closely to be able to f- provide the right solutions in this market which is slightly a long drawn process and we have to put efforts in with the insurance partners here so i don't know if uh, that helped you understand what i was trying to uh, bring forth but uh, we are kind of f- heavily focused on bfsi retail and alternate affinity driven uh, industry segments uh, where we are building partnerships uh, as we speak we've got uh, 25 and plus partners at various stages of integration uh, across these buckets across these segments and our aim is to basically uh, be at 10x of that by uh, god willing fingers crossed in the next 12 months so sure. maybe this could be a good segue into uh, you know given this is an uh, this is a insure tech uh, you know webinar to talk about tech as well and uh, maybe my next question is to vidya uh, you know really what 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 needs to happen from a technology perspective to make uh, you know in insurance infrastructure apis and insurance in a box possible and what what is that you have built which makes it easier than it was ever before So oh, thanks, thanks, Sumit. So I, I guess this is again like three parts, right? What do you make it easy for anyone to just come and start using uh, an insurance or set up an insurance business in the shortest possible time? So um, I, I, I'll talk about I'll talk it talk about it in the reverse way. So let's start with the APIs themselves. So now anyone uh, can go to the, directly to the insurance company to the insurance IT team and say, "Hey, future generally, I want to integrate business with you." Or you know, I can go to ICICI Lombard. Any any of them, they all have fantastic IT teams. But the but the 
problem there is the sheer disparity in terms of technical standards. So each of the insurance products that come to us belong to two uh, uh, buckets. One is that, you know, the product is already there, but the uh, way to integrate with them is not there, or the way to integrate is very old fashioned, you know, upload an Excel file. So then we bring the whole logic into our platform that we call as insurance in the box. So the logic is inside our box. And then, you know, we, we just integrate it in a matter of hours, the business is on. Uh, the second thing is if more insurance companies, IT teams, they all have APIs. So the, you know, as much as API is considered that mechanism, which is the easiest to integrate, it also has a huge amount of diversity in the way APIs are modeled or APIs are developed. So typically we have to go through hundreds of APIs uh, for uh, about 10 products, you know, because as I call it, a, um, it's a set or a tuple. Uh, the, uh, the IT companies provide you uh, a, a, one API each for every product, every plan, every partner. And then there are a whole lot of factors, you know, discount changes, so many changes, formats change and everything. So the whole um, conundrum here is that, that we maintain what I call uh, as chaos to order. There are hundreds of APIs, maybe much more than that right now, that we maintain in a, in a fashion that when our partners come in, come in, they're completely transparent to the complexity that's underneath. So that's on the API side, which is, which is uh, very uh, obvious uh, when we uh, talked about Glance and the lock screen integration, right? This wouldn't have been possible if we did not have that superficial layer on top of the very disparate API structure where we were very, you know, it just happened in a night. It's, it, it just took a night to integrate with Glance. So we are able to integrate with a lock screen we are able to integrate with an unlocked screen, obviously, or we can integrate with a website. We technically can integrate with a Facebook Messenger, with a WhatsApp. So any layer anyone wants us to integrate, we can integrate completely making everything else underneath transparent to whoever is integrating. So uh, in my opinion, uh, this is the first that I'm at least seeing in India. I haven't seen uh, with uh, competitors yet. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a significant uh, challenge for us, but I guess we are um, making some good strides on that. Right. I just want to add like a quick point on what Vidya mentioned and from the technology side. Um, uh, to Amit, to, to, to your question as well. Uh, see the complexity on this uh, API is, uh, see API by itself uh, in terms of uh, building it um, that by itself is, is 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 not the complexity the complexity is in the is in the um, in the in the in the 360 degree life cycle management right from being able to design the right apis with the least amount of sort of you know uh, you know performance overhead being able to great documentation people need to use that from an integration perspective uh, very easily and this could change right uh, one of the things that we have been sort of thinking about is at an ecosystem view, how can we not build first, but uh, partner best? Maybe there are certain products out there that have already been built, which are stable enough. Uh, so can we put a wrapper around that? And we uh, we call that service instead and making it a win-win-win across the board, right? So uh, these kind of sort of ecosystem views is something that we are thinking of. Um, how do you kind of uh, sort of bring, enable sort of to Vidya's point uh, that organize that entire insurance market, right? So the way you organize that is by uh, the right level of tools and trust, right? So uh, that is what we are kind of thinking of building. And if you think about the value add from the supply side is look, they, the supply side, the carrier side or manufacturing side looks at us as a 21st century distributor or a, or a big digital first kind of distribution channel, right? They are in the business of underwriting, uh, you know, products, uh, distributing that uh, with as many channels as they can, and then obviously manage, uh, you know, uh, claims, right? So. Um, to kind of show up the bottom line, right? So on the second side, the distribution side, uh, they look at us as a uh, sort of a, a super distributor that where they integrate one product for one channel and then sort of, you know, that essentially can be taken to N number of distribution partners, right? That is the value add on, on the supply side. The value add discovery provides on the distribution side is a one-stop shop. Uh, to Vidya's point and Saurav's point earlier, uh, we, uh, our distribution partners don't have to build teams, tech, processes, uh, think about licensing, compliance overheads, all of that. Leave the, all that work to us. You want to start insurance? We are your one-stop shop, and we can we'll scale 
on the basis of your needs right so a lot of our customers are coming back for third and fourth and fifth different products now across you know life side non life side etc so but you know there could be some very interesting challenges there for instance maybe you want on, a, on say with a hospice cash product maybe you want a, uh, a maternity um, uh, you know feature included for one of your channel for say an assisted sale right but you don't want that within your diy thing so but for us it is it doesn't matter it's a set of you know product bundling unbundling on the on the on the supply side and making sure that construct is available from a real time pricing perspective but more importantly to be able to supply the this products uh, apis into the right channel right so we are seeing very interesting product bundling unbundling kind of opportunities per se for a, a base of about 10 lakh farmers can we add, build a health insurance to cover his or her family crop insurance for the crop for the uh, for the farmers sort of produce cattle insurance for their assets and the cattle and then sort of you know say motor insurance for the tractor all bundled into one one single product on the front end but four different you know sub products coming from four different insurance companies at the back end right so those kind of things are all api first use cases and uh, we think uh, that is a interesting play right now just to add to what vidya mentioned earlier so so let me uh, kind of you know now ask subindu uh, you know a couple of questions uh, you know basically ceo should have the last word um <laughs> uh, and i guess we can now, now ask a lot of hard questions as well <laughs> you know now that you guys have talked about uh, you know each other functions so uh, i want to understand that you know so we had jason gartner from marketa who is kind of a company like discovery but on the card issuing side in the us and they have built a massive company it's valued at 4.3 billion dollars i basically see discovery going on that path right my question to you is um, very similar to what i asked him that at certain scale as your customers grow as you grow as you deliver insurance for them they sell insurance at some stage it will become a bill versus rent question right should we do it internally or you know should we work with discovery so my question to you is really about long term value creation and the moat that you will have in the long term to keep you know to have that stickiness with these customers great great thank you so much amit and uh, you and rahul so you saw all my friends who are passionate about our our venture and uh, this this subject and the problem statement that you are addressing so the problem statement or the mission that all four of us are at it is to increase insurance penetration in india why i said the problem statement india saw privatization of insurance in 2001 from 2001 till 2020 if you see the premium growth has been more than 15 times but if you see the penetration which was a 2.71 in 2001 now also it is 3.71 so many insurance companies came so many intermediaries came everybody is doing lot of volume lot of people got employed lot of money got uh, pumped into the insurance companies a capital as mncs and indian promoters but whether we are addressing the problem of creating more and more customers to choose by insurance is it not required yes it is required we are a country where people are not self sufficient they are heavily dependent on government and everybody else so why insurance penetration is not increasing so that is what we need to also understand so that background has got certain little bit about our social culture also the culture that we come from is a more community dependent and joint family and all that so suddenly to think that insurance is happening in europe and uh, america and every other country why not in india it may not have the same kind of uh, scenario in india so easily so we still have lot of dependency on my family members and my friends and we expect that if i need money if there is some problem they will come and help me but there is changing scenario people are moving from villages to rural areas to the the cities and they become more nuclear families so the dependencies and there are a lot of other things that we thought uh, was not available earlier like healthcare and equipments and appliances which was not available maybe 20 years ago now it is available healthcare is becoming expensive it is available but at a higher cost whether everybody can afford it yes they cannot afford it so in those kind of things if you think the only way the insurance penetration will grow is to reach out to customer and to provide what he or she wants to buy so i think some of, some of the thing that rahul and you were mentioning that is what if you can execute well that is where we will see the success and i completely agree with you that we will definitely we become the multi billion dollar 
uh, unicorn if you address this problem and we are trying to solve this problem not to go to the existing market rather by creating a new market for insurance so that new market will add the insurance penetration okay and how that is going to happen is bring more and more people to distribute insurance why i will empower only the insurance company or the existing channels it's not that the customer is going to buy only from the existing channel customer has like chiranth mentioned that customer has a relationship customer has a trust with a brand it can be a clothing brand it can be a payment brand it can be a lending company so i have a relationship so why can't i use that that relationship as a one stop shop so we have seen this success like sorrow was mentioning that we have seen success in the bank assurance and the affinity side who were the early adopter of this concept and they leverage their customer relationships and existing channel of distribution to distribute other products like mutual funds and insurance so we seen that is a channel which has become more mature enough to distribute insurance so like that we have lot of other brands and lot of other channels of distribution who can promote insurance as well so why they will not sell so one the part the we have to address two problems one the partner to start thinking about distributing insurance second the consumer who is not even thinking to buy insurance he should start thinking to buy insurance so we are now the entire insurance in a box platform is solving both this problem we are making the life of the distributors life simple so that we are saying just by thinking to distribute insurance you don't have to spend multi million dollars and recruit 20 people to build system and integrate with insurance companies and make a one year project so like we made npc i think live in 6 days and we will make your uh, process also live in 3 to 4 days because we have uh, our brilliant minds like vidya so who has from day one she has thought about it that uh, it has to be api infrastructure it should be flexible because she already thought about that that when the distributors will come they will have their own journeys somebody may be operating business through app somebody may be distributing their products through their retail agents or it can be a kirana shop so so we have factored all these things so whether it is assisted more whether it is a diy journey through their app or net banking or whatever it is a third thing can be a bundled or attachment insurance which we call in our box uh, inside a box called invisible insurance so the insurance journey does, is not visible to the external world but all the functions like uh, underwriting pricing and policy issues everything happens at the back end so so this 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 we are addressing the distributors problem then the customers problem is about the customer who is not buying insurance for two three reasons one they are not finding the insurance relevant because they are not understanding the features because the way insurance has products has been made in india is we always thought i will create one product which will comprehensively address all the risk of a customer if it is a home insurance product so always we saw a home insurance product which will cover my property my jewelry my appliances my bicycle my maid my liability and everything else but because i put 14 things inside one product the customer is not able to understand and the customer is not buying only so that problem we are solving through by unbundling it so good that we have uh, some of our domain expertise in the company so that is why we are able to unbundle this complex product and offering it in a much more simpler manner to a customer so we are saying okay so mr customer if you don't want to buy a comprehensive home insurance if you think most uh, vulnerable thing in your house is your uh, uh, 55 inch led television so you can buy that so if you think your uh, bicycle because you are a health freak and you, are, you keep uh, going out every weekend uh, with your cycle so you think your bicycle insurance is more important you just buy the bicycle insurance you don't need to buy the entire home insurance to get all these things covered and you can keep building layer by layer of your protection by adding all these insurance so this is a two way we are trying to solve the problem and this has been possible only with our thought process the way our technology platform is built so that it is adaptable one one end it is able to price and underwrite all types of risk even if the insurance company do not have the apis they they do not have the apis to expose their core system to the external distribution world we have built that kind of underwriting and pricing engine at our end we get the logic from the insurance company nothing gets compromised if insurance company says i will cover a risk in a particular pin code i will not cover in a particular pin code our system is capable of doing that so all the comfort is given to the insurance company at the same time we are giving a modular approach to the customer to buy and also a flexible approach for a partner to adapt our technology
we have seen people like uh, some of the examples saurabh and jiran mentioned so we are kind of uh, integrated in clans thing on their unlock screen in in uh, in case of npci it is a link which npci shared with all their 1100 uh, more than 1100 banking partners and each banking partner is sending it through their as their sms or on their website wherever so wherever anybody clicks on that link he comes there and completes the journey so we also have certain things certain customers who are using this as part of their lms system some of them are using in the retail store some of them are using inside their engagement apps so anywhere any kind of modification anywhere you want to expose that that is possible within no time and that does not require too much of engineering effort at our end because we built the entire platform from day one thinking all this flexibility to build so that is why it is much easier today for any product to go live in 3 to 4 days or any partner to go live any three so we kind of made a menu card today so which chirant and vidya are working on the next project is that that menu when a new partner comes we'll give that menu card what all you want so you want a assisted journey with your payment gateway or our payment gateway or insurance payment gateway you want your screens or our screens so you tick 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 now next is what your credentials are given and you go live so if there is only certain documentation need to be completed with the insurance company that is with only whatever time it will take 3 to 5 days otherwise every on technology wise everything else is okay unless you want real customization no no i want complete my own screens and my own journey and you integrate with my crm and all those thing that will have additional engineering effort otherwise if you want to go live with our our module so you can go live in 3 to 5 days so this is the way we are trying to see that we will address both this problem so ulti- ultimate objective we will achieve is increasing penetration by adding lot of new customers so we are so proud that today even if we are getting about 600 to 1000 customers a day so all these customers have never bought insurance policies so they are buying for the first time so we are adding this to the pool of the insurance ecosystem that the new set of customers are buy- coming and buying insurance so that is what we are proud of and we are also proud that we are bringing in lot of new partners to come forward and distribute insurance which which they never thought of so right. that that is what i i would like to say that's a good vision for the company and hopefully you guys are able to take the insurance penetration in the country about 10 20% hopefully i think you also answered the question that i asked about you know the moat in the long term uh, you said technology you said modularization filling the gaps where the insurance companies don't have in terms of uh, you know the apis and the processes um rahul uh, any other question for the for the guys from discovery here honestly you know i think we've covered everything right so we've covered what they're doing you know what an integration kind of looks like and you know just the, their kind of vision in terms of increasing insurance penetration and it not being like a zero sum game per se in insurance in india so it, it's been great i have nothing more to ask unless you have anything in mind no just to uh, kind of end it on uh, you know one of the observations that i rahul rahul we have one question for you guys yeah so yeah, what about how, how did you arrive at seven of seven insurtechs any uh, it, must, there must be a very interesting story there so just wanted to understand <laughs> yeah i mean seven is a lucky number for both of us but also uh, in this series actually what we do is we cover seven in short tech companies in an episode or five trends and kind of you know two uh, you know in short tech companies uh, this time we thought that let's have six of us and discuss you know insurance in a box so that makes it seven we don't nice. have to <laughs> but i think i think this was a special episode um, what i was going to say earlier was that one of the observations is that you guys seem to be a very good mix of you know a lot of insurance experience as well as a lot of technology experience you know i know with their insurance background of building technology startups and and you know building engineering for them and it also seems like on a lighter note that it's a very good combination of bombay meets bangalore <laughs> and, uh, i have long said in fintech that we should not think of it as two sort of you know different hubs it is when these two things come together and you know i think we can create magic so covid but amit 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 ko in covid there is no bombay no bangalore yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are all together in this yeah. okay thank you so much guys for your time uh, really uh, appreciate thank it you much. thank yeah. you so much thanks rahul thank you thanks rahul thanks thanks amit thanks for having us thank you very much it was a, it was a great thank chat you. thanks for facilitating this sure okay thanks, thanks everyone for joining bye bye thank you